Scammers are everywhere these days, and eBay is no exception. Whether you're a buyer or if you're a seller, there are ways that you can get scammed on eBay. And if you're not aware of what these scams are, you're more vulnerable and more prone to being scammed on eBay. So today we're gonna to talk about 10 different common scams that you could encounter on eBay. And we're gonna also discuss how you can prevent them from happening to you. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, my name is Justin and I go by Coach Commerce here on YouTube. And here on my channel, I make content that focuses all about buying and selling on eBay. Now I've been selling on eBay for over 10 years and one of the most common questions I get when people ask me about what I do for a living is, you know, what are the most common scams on eBay and what can I do to avoid them? So what I decided to do was to make this video to try to help people out so they don't become a victim. And in this video, I'll jump back and forth between common scams for buyers and for sellers. So let's go ahead and get started on the very first common scam. Okay, so the very first scam that probably is the most common scam on eBay is for a buyer or for a seller to reach out to you and ask you to take the sale off of eBay. Now at face value, that should seem pretty obvious that you should never take a sale off of eBay, but a scammer is gonna try to trick you into doing just that. And the problem with that is, once you take a sale off of eBay, you're no longer protected by eBay. Because when you do, eBay will no longer protect you as a seller or the buyer with their eBay money back guarantee, and it becomes really easy to become a victim of this scam. And one other added note is whenever you're communicating on eBay, don't ever do it through email. Always keep your communication on eBay messages. That way, if something goes wrong, you can contact eBay customer support and that eBay rep will be able to look through all of your communication, whether you're a buyer or a seller, and help decide something in your favor if you become a victim to fraud or to scam on eBay. Okay, this next scam is one that you have to watch out for if you are a buyer, and it's really not that complicated. Um, what happens here is that the seller just runs away with your money. And while this scam doesn't happen a lot, it does happen from time to time, and it may not even be the fault of the seller. The post office may have lost your package, or it could have even gotten stolen off of your front porch. Now the good news with this scam is that if this happens to you and you bought something that you never received, eBay has a really good money back guarantee program to where they will reimburse you if you don't get your item. And that money back guarantee program is pretty extensive on eBay and covers most items that you would buy, but there are a few exceptions that you really wanna watch out for, and typically they apply to large purchases like automotive and real estate transactions on eBay. So if you're making a large transaction on eBay, like maybe you're buying a car or buying land, always be very careful when you're handing over large amounts of money because if something doesn't work out the way that you thought it would, there's a good chance that eBay won't be able to reimburse you a large sum of money. Now, if you found this video and you fall into that category of a scam that involves a large dollar amount on eBay, and eBay isn't really doing anything to support you or to back you, my best advice would be to take it to your local law enforcement, file a police report, and then you know go about getting your money back through any type of judicial means that may be necessary. Okay, another scam that happens on eBay that also affects buyers is when a seller ships you an empty box. Now the empty box scam is typically a scam that preys upon excitement, you know, buyers that are caught up in the moment or, you know, are hurrying to purchase an item that, you know, might be limited or scarce. For example, maybe a new iPhone just dropped and, you know, there are expensive items that are hard to come by and there's a lot of demand for. What a seller might do if they're a scammer is they might put up an ad, you know, for it really cheap. You know, for example, a thousand dollar item for, you know, $500 or even less, maybe like a hundred dollars. And what they'll do is down in the description field, they'll put that the sale is for the box only and the actual item, the iPhone, isn't included. And then when you get the package, you know, you open it up and you see that all you bought was literally a box. And then once you have your box, you know, what do you do? You reach out to the seller and say, hey, you know, why did you ship me just a box? And then the seller says, well, hey, you didn't read the description. You literally bought a box and, you know, that's what you paid for and you get what you paid for. Now, if you're an eBay buyer that finds yourself in this position, what I would encourage you to do is simply open up a return. On eBay, once you open up a return and you ship that item back with tracking, when that seller gets back that item and eBay sees that it's been delivered, that seller is then forced to issue you a refund in full. Now when I say in full, um, what I mean is the original cost of the item. Be really careful if a seller has really high shipping cost because a lot of times when a seller initiates a refund for a return item, they don't have to actually debit you or refund you your shipping cost. So if you see an item that has high shipping costs and you know a low dollar amount, that should be a red flag in itself right there. And one last word of advice, if you're the type of buyer on eBay that's purchasing something you know that's really in demand and you're trying to make a rush decision, 
Don't let your emotions get the best of you, you know, because there's always going to be another item like that if you're willing to wait. And a lot of times, if the deal seems too good to be true, it often is too good to be true. Okay, this next scam is basically the same scam, but with the roles reversed. And this is where when a buyer gets a package and they claim that you ship them an empty box. And this typically happens when a buyer, you know, gets their package, opens it up, you know, they'll put their item to the side, photograph the empty box, and then send you a message saying, hey, you shipped me an empty box, you know, I want my money back. Or maybe they'll claim that they never actually got their package in the first place, that you know it was stolen off of their front porch or that the post office didn't deliver it. Now, if you find yourself in this position and you think you're gonna become a victim of the empty box scam, the best thing you can do is to try to make sure that you have evidence on your side. Because if you have to get eBay customer service involved, they're gonna have to take the evidence that you provided them and they'll ultimately make a judgment call on whether or not you're being honest as a seller or if the buyer is you know, making a false claim or not. So the best thing that you can possibly do is to document that you actually shipped your customer this item. When you're packing it, take a picture of you actually putting it in the box. And then also always make sure that you're shipping with a tracking number. Because if you don't have a tracking number, you're gonna lose the item not received case every single time. And I can honestly tell you that the more I sell on eBay, the less I become a victim to scams like this. Scammers on eBay really love to prey upon people that are inexperienced and don't have much feedback history. So if you're just getting started out on eBay, you wanna really be careful for scams like this and make sure you're doing everything you can to protect yourself so you don't become a victim of this type of fraud. Another scam that happens from time to time on eBay is that a buyer will get an item and then claim that it was broken when they received it. And this scam mainly affects eBay sellers in particular because you know it's gonna turn into a return and typically when an item's returned on eBay, the buyer is always gonna get their money back. Now, sometimes broken items do happen, you know, when things are being delivered or when they're being handled in the mail, they do get shaken up and, and can get broken. But sometimes what buyers will do is, you know, they'll get the item that they received, take it out and put their old broken item back in the box and ship it back to you as the seller. Now, if you find yourself in this position, the best way that you can protect yourself is to have good evidence. And that starts with taking good photographs in your listings. Don't ever use stock photos on eBay and make sure when you're taking photos that you're taking really good close-up pictures of the actual item that you're shipping your customer. If there are any product identifiers like serial numbers or unique identifiers on your item, make sure to capture that. So if your customer tries to return to you a different item, you'll be able to prove your case with eBay. Another eBay related scam that's easy to fall for is the common phishing scam. Now, if you're not familiar with how phishing scams work, basically what happens is you get an email to your private email address asking for you to confirm some type of information to your eBay account. And this can be anything like confirming your login and your password or simply confirming your financial information with eBay. And the catch here, of course, is that email is not legit or from eBay. It's actually from a scammer who created a fake email that maybe looked authentic or original, but actually has nothing to do with eBay. And a lot of times these emails do look legit. You know, the email address may even have eBay up in the sender's name, but the dead giveaway here is down in the message field, there's gonna be a hyperlink that when you click on it, it's actually gonna take you to a different fraudulent website that may even look like eBay, but when you type in your information, nothing happens and you know, now your scammer's got your info. So the big takeaway here is to never give anybody any of your personal information or eBay login outside of eBay. If anybody messages you, or even if you think eBay has messaged you, always go back to eBay. And if there's anything that eBay is requiring of you, they're gonna ask you to do it on eBay's website once you're actually logged into your account. Okay, this next scam applies mostly to eBay sellers, and this happens when a buyer issues a credit card chargeback. Now, if you're not familiar with credit card chargebacks, basically they're a forced refund. The credit card company is gonna always side with their client or their customer, the credit card holder, and they force eBay to issue a refund to their credit card holder, or in this case, the customer that purchased the item from you. And chances are, if you're an eBay seller over any extended period of time, there's really no way to eventually avoid getting a credit card chargeback. But the good thing is, when a credit card chargeback is initiated, the bank or the lender that issued the credit card and eBay have to open a full investigation before they make a final judgment call on whether or not the buyer is going to actually receive their refund. But the important thing here is, if you do get a message from eBay saying that a buyer has initiated a credit card chargeback, whatever you do, don't ignore that message. If there's any documentation that you have to provide to eBay, make sure you upload that, because if you don't, more than likely the case will not go in your favor. But if you do provide documented proof that the transaction was valid, there's a really good chance that you can get that charge back reversed and overturned in your favor. 
Another scam that's easy to fall for on eBay as an eBay seller is when a buyer offers to overpay for an item on eBay. And typically this scam happens with auctions, but I have seen it happen with buy and now items. And what will happen is the buyer will reach out to the seller and say that they're willing to pay more for the item if you're willing to take the sale off of eBay. And typically they'll promise to send you like a blank cashier's check or maybe a money order for a large amount that was more than what the item actually cost. Because what happens with this scam is when you send the buyer your item and then you go to cash your check or you know to process that money order, it'll get declined and the payment won't go through and you've already sent your item to the buyer and they're gonna keep it. So be super careful with personal checks, cashier checks and money orders when you're doing transactions on eBay. Personally, I never take them. You know, if a buyer wants an item, they're gonna use their debit card, their credit card, or you know, PayPal to make that purchase on eBay. Okay, this next scam is not a very common scam, but it does affect eBay buyers. And it's when a seller ships an item to you with the incorrect name on the address form. And typically, you know this scam is gonna happen because the eBay seller will reach out to you right away and say, hey, I accidentally shipped the item to the wrong customer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mail yours out, but when you get this tracking number, can you refuse delivery once the post office tries to deliver it? And now, of course, when that happens, when you refuse delivery, your real item with that tracking number is going to get sent back to the seller and when eBay sees that you refuse delivery, they're going to assume that you didn't want that item. So then the seller gets the item back and they get to keep your money. Because when you refuse that package, you voided eBay's money back guarantee policy without even knowing it. But in reality, you wanna be really careful whenever you receive a package from a seller on eBay, you should always open it and inspect it to make sure that not only you're getting your correct item, but you also wanna make sure that you're covered in case anything like this were to happen. Okay, this next scam is very similar to the one previously, but this time it affects sellers on eBay. And it also has to deal with, you know, an address being incorrect. And typically what happens here is a customer will purchase something from an eBay seller, and then they'll reach out to the eBay seller and say, hey, you know, I just moved or I entered in my address incorrectly into eBay. Can you please change the address, you know, in your eBay shipping labels and send it to my new or my corrected address? Now, if you're a seller that finds yourself in this position, of course, you know, you're wanting to provide good customer service to your customers and you're wanting to make sure that the sale happens. But it is important to know that anytime you change an address on eBay, if that package doesn't get there or if the customer claims that it wasn't delivered, there's a really good chance that eBay will not side with you because after you change that customer's address, you're not protected under eBay's money back guarantee anymore. So on eBay, it's best practice if a customer reaches out to you and says, hey, can you change the address for me? You might wanna reply back and say, I will, but what I need you to do for me is I've gotta cancel this sale, I'll relist that item and you can purchase it again, but this time when you purchase it, make sure that you have the right address in place. And when you do that, not only are you completely protected as a seller, but the buyer is also gonna be protected as well in the event that the package doesn't get to the right location. So there you have it guys, those are the 10 most common scams that you might experience as a buyer or a seller on eBay. Now of course there are plenty of other ways that people will try to scam you on eBay, and by no means was this a conclusive list, but I do hope it helps you in knowing what to watch out for, you know, as a customer on eBay. And if you have any questions about any of the scams mentioned in this video, um, drop a comment down below and I'll try to do my best to get back to you. Oh, and one more thing guys, um, if you can help me out by hitting the thumbs up button down below, it'll make this video more viewable on YouTube and it'll help other people that are wanting to shop on eBay know what to look for to make eBay a safer marketplace. I hope that you learned something new and I will catch you on the next video. Have a great day and good luck selling on eBay. Bye.